was the fourth episode of the Loki series when I saw the man, the myth, the legend, the oh holy alligator Loki. As a weird reptile lover that I am, I was delighted to see the alligator. It is the perfect spirit animal for the self-centered, manipulative, and absolute mischievous piece of wimpy kid chocolate covered butt that is Loki. And I absolutely loved it. I was on board. I was prepared to see the alligator take the spotlight, the factor that would contribute to my letterbox 5 star review. But as soon as they gave it to me, they soon they took it away. I will never forgive them for that. I wanted to see the arc of this alligator from Resident Evil 7 DLC Alligator <laughs> to Rex. Do you like your new home? Yeah. Do you like your new home? Oh my gosh, you are adorable. But no, man just leaves. Have a star on letterbox. Disney just basically threw the Funko Pop at us and said, Okay, bye. Hope you feel satisfied. I am not satisfied, Disney. Disney may not have given us the Loki ending we deserve, but you knew what we do have. Polymer clay. Polymer clay tools. Wire. Aluminium. Sandpaper. Lone Star Lion to take your anger out. Nail polish remover. Q-tip. BTS album to keep us sane. Bacon bond. Acrylic paint. Lots of it. And many, many, many paintbrushes. Basically what I'm trying to say is, we're gonna make the alligator Loki from polymer clay. Because why not? We have free time. Also, I forgot to say that I'm gonna do a paintbrush rest because I wanted one for a really long time. So here is this little sketch I made before doing all of this. Here's Miss Mittens. Hello, I love you. You stare strong, yay. I start by taking the aluminum foil and just putting it into like a big ball and making this atrocity. Oh my god, this is not starting well. I took the clay and I'm conditioning it. Now I'm pressing- why am I pressing it down? First of all, no, roll it out. It's not gonna be even. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? But that's okay. And I'm gonna roll it in a burrito. Oh, 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 okay. Um, we're chopping the head off. Oh, uh, no, stop, please. That That's it. You're, you're done, please. Oh, oh no, stop, no. St oh, oh my god, no, don't bake it. Just throw it away. Just, just stop, stop, stop. So this next clip is gonna be a little bit traumatizing, watch at your own risk. This might block this video to countries included but not limited to everywhere. Take caution and yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> I made a pool! Let me tell you about Mr. Crocodile aka Turd. I forgot, well I didn't forget, I didn't check the temperature of the oven which has happened to me before basically it burned so is it still usable i'm gonna go ahead and say yes because i don't want to do this all over again so i'm gonna put you know bacon bond and you know more clay on top and you know if we die we die but if we don't die then you'll see this video yeah sadly you will never get to see this video because this video is over thank you so much for watching like subscribe follow me on my instagram and tiktok and leave bye there's 13 minutes left in the video it's not over so here is the new and improved armature aluminium thing foil thing way better than the first one that's for sure it can actually fit paintbrushes oh my god what a revolutionary thing wow here it is, and I'm gonna slap clay on it, and ooh, that transition sucked. I'm bulking up the body, yeah. But I didn't have any more clay, so I opened a fresh bag of clay. <laughs> people don't normally use original Sculpey. A lot of people say that it's not good, but I disagree. I mostly disagree because it's the one I've been using for the past year, so yeah. What I'm doing now is just bulking up the body, you know, just adding clay where it needs to. 
Now here we are doing something very important. I am letting the air escape because if the air is trapped inside, then the clay is gonna crack and we don't want that so we need to take it out. We are adding more clay as we see that it needs clay for example here here we are adding the cheek it's kind of like we're adding the line in a drawing but instead of a line it's clay that's kind of how i look at it then i stopped working on this for many many weeks But that doesn't mean I didn't make any progress because I did. I folded the aluminum so that it makes the shape because I didn't like the tail. And then with the dotting tool, I just made this shape so that the paintbrushes can actually rest. So yay me, yay you figured it all out, yeah, so cool, man. I added more foil to the nose or mouth part because I didn't like the length so I added more aluminum foil to that, to that, and then Again, I added more clay, I blended it, great, amazing. I don't really know what to say anymore because that's what I do for 10 minutes straight. Here I'm adding the eyes and then I'm gonna, oh wait, I'm blending it first. That resembles this bone structure. Yes, I know alligator anatomy. Then I slap more clay on the bottom, yeah, I slapped it on and then I blend it, yeah. You, go, 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 go. Texture, awesome, with the blending tool. And this is a piece of clay that is pre-baked because I didn't want to destroy it when I'm adding the eyelids, which I'm doing right there. See that? Cool. And then I am sketching the mouth so that I can safely put clay on the top to create lips. Awesome. And now we're moving on to the legs. I'm taking a piece of clay and just rolling it just on one side so that it creates that. Woo! Yes, I folded it. And then I'm adding like little cuts to make the folds. I snip that. I didn't snip it, but yeah. And then I'm making kind of like a triangle shape and then squish it down so that it's flat. Those are fingers i rolled it it's actually it's re really hard to do those and i'm adding kind of like bones again it's really fun bones this is conditioned clay so when i go like that it creates like a finger shape and i just destroyed it oh my god lord oh okay um i would just keep doing what i was doing and just i add the finger back so yeah it, it all worked out and then i just put both of them together and blend them yeah put it on my dear alligator mm. and then i add more clay so that it's like a better like transition from the other clay we're doing it to the other leg actually in this part i had already baked the man for 15 minutes so i added bacon bond so that it actually sticks yeah we're doing the same thing with all of the legs These are the horns! Yes, the Loki horns! We're rolling them in clay! Let's go! Let's go, my guy! Woo. Yeah! These are clay pieces for his scales. Cool! Bink and bond, and then putting one by one. That was very not good, not a great experience. More bink and bond for the tea! He's so tiny. I struggled a lot. Now we are adding a piece of clay on top so that it creates this little hat. And then we're placing the horns. <gasps> placing the horns, guys. We blend it and we're all done. Oh my god, we're done. <laughs> then we put it in the oven for 250 for about one hour. Now with the satisfaction of having been sculpted, now it's time to actually finish it and paint it.
Okay, there will be noise in this part, but I have no control. Do you hear those sweeps? It's not my fault. We do not live in a sound stage. I'm sorry, guys. I know you guys want your B-roll, but that will come eventually. Just wait. First few things I want to mention right now. Yes, man did break a couple of times. He, I had a loose thread on my shirt and well he fell and he needed surgery that's what i'm doing you can't you can't even see anything this isn't even in focus Doop. okay next side so parts where he has been broken his horns broke i think even like during painting it i broke them um hand also broke so that's very nice um, of course this and this and I feel like it's gonna break even more before we continue gluing his little leg here it is isn't it marvelous look how pretty it is some things I want to mention I'm thinking of naming this video how I tried to make the low-key alligator but failed and I know to some of you guys it may not seem like I failed but to me I did his colors are not good it's supposed to be from light to dark meaning this part is supposed to be dark and this is supposed to be light but I don't know if you can tell I made this part light and this part light too there's a weird confusion here and then um, I didn't add nostril so man can't even breathe he's not alive even if he even if he wants to come to life like Toy Story like he can't because man can't breathe I mean I guess he can breathe from his mouth but it's close shut so I'm sorry here you will forever be considered an inanimate object I changed his eyes to black because I feel like that would be a little more evil because the Loki is evil okay so i think the reptile from the show is supposed to be an alligator and this i don't know if i'm getting it confused but this looks more like a crocodile because a crocodile has that v shape you know look at that i think yes a crocodile has a v shape while alligators have more of a u shape so if i wanted this to be an alligator i would have to make this a little bit more and then you know make, make it a little like a softer transition i made a crocodile and i didn't make an alligator <laughs> but that 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 is that that is okay as long as i don't tell people i just did but as long as i don't tell everyone else also i want to thank everybody i want to this is a genuine thank you for watching my last video which was my axolotl video i did not I'm honestly still surprised at the fact that it's gotten over, it's gotten like a lot of views and I never really expected that. I know that a lot of people watching it, what that watched that video, or people that searched up how to make an axolotl, and they're probably not even watching this video, so. <laughs> but still, thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of your support. I do post weekly on Instagram, so follow me there. In the meantime, here is what we have. Thank you guys again so much for watching my little shenanigans. I guess it's now part for um, what you guys actually came here to see.
finally done. Oh my god, you weak. <laughs> I hope I didn't break it. 